What's up? This is the uh, Pete, and I am doing a the new tower run. So this is the season two Luminous Knights tower. I've done it a couple times. I came up with two builds. I will show both builds. This first build is a little more difficult. First thing you want to do is get a deflect. Do your two swipes on your sword to get ready to whack a creeper. You're gonna first use your arrow. Oh, I missed. Just uh, be careful on these guys. Dynamite. Nice. So that's level one. So I'll kind of do like a walk through, chat through. Okay, this first thing we're gonna get is enchantment point. We're gonna do more deflect. And this is kind of a more difficult area too. You're gonna use our arrows. Could stay at this corner here. Pretty safe. Knock him with the sword. And here's a nice safe space. We got some arrows and if, if it was tough here you could always retreat to this corner here and if they overwhelm you you can shoot some arrows and retreat to that corner there uh, this next level so this was kind of a hard area this next level oh power shaker this is an easy area Okay, we're gonna... we don't need anything. Just whack it with the sword. Wanna try to conserve our arrows as much as we can. Oh, I missed that one. Just trying to get it inside the room and then we'll use the power shaker. These guys that have the helms. Right. Floor number three, clear. Floor number four. Okay, so I'm going to do the burst bowstring build here. Or the rolling build, I mean. So we're going to get this hunter's armor. Now this is a more difficult uh, one build to do. And we're going to get this... Electrified. This is probably one of the hardest levels here. So we're waiting for a creeper. Oh, you got us. Power shaker. Yeah, use the power shaker when you get up in here. And we'll throw that. Okay. And luckily they have some supplies here. So you get really loaded up on arrows. And just take it slow. Don't die. And let's see if there's any mobs in here. No. Power shaker on the creepers. Don't be scared of them, just get in there and whack them. And now our power shaker is done. Alright, we gotta wait. Keep out of range. Oh! Can go in there. With the electrify roll. Uh, 
I should have used the uh, power shaker on him. And that is floor number four. Uh, with the other build, I get this armor here, but we're going to keep, keep this armor. And we are going to get the enchantment point. And we're going to do electrify. And then we have tumblebee, which is nice. So this is, uh, just be careful here. This is, gets a little scary. So just take your time. Use your power shaker on the creepers. There it is. And see that? We got one more power shaker. We'll use it there. And we can roll in. We'll kill these guys in one hit with the roll. Power shaker. Kill him with the roll. This tower is a little more difficult, just as I anticipated, than the last tower that we had. And here is where we get our feather. Alright, so now we should be starting to move. Just be careful and don't die, because you don't have as much HP with this method. But it really picks up the speed where we're going to power shake it. See that? Power shaker. And we're going to roll. And get him with the TNT. And we got some arrows. Alright, that was floor six. Now I'll show you all the items here. And after floor six, we are getting the enchant point. And we'll just roll around. Here, unless you need the power shaker on a guy with a helmet. Just roll around. Power shaker on this guy. See how much damage he did. So this is a kind of a glass cannon-ish build. Floor 7, we'll get the enchant point again. Um, you could pause and look at these items. They're not very good. Uh, you can easily die with this build, so don't take any weird... Don't do anything weird. Alright, we're going to wait. Wait for another guy to appear here. Reaper. Oh my gosh, see that? Oh. Oh, I didn't. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Creeper just exploded. All right, next step. We're going to get the column kit. This is kind of going to hold us over a little bit. There it is. 
Gollum is gonna hold us over until we get our uh, full potential power. Nice. That was easy. And here is... that was floor 9. And we are going to get the enchant point. I'll show you with the items here. As you can see, nothing very good. And use the power shaker. Power shake him. Okay, that was easy. And that was floor number 10. And this is where we get the bubble bow. This is going to be our bow that we're going to be using. Uh, there's some uh, notable... There it is. And if we have I've totally been forgetting to get these items here. And first bowstring. Holy Ooh, they're really pushing me off. That's it for this level. That was floor 12. And... Or that was floor 11. And here we get the Gong of Weakening. So I guess I didn't really need to get that Golem. Because we're replacing it right away with the Gong. So we'll uh, undo that Power Shaker. It's getting old. Power Shaker's old. We'll keep the Golem. Plenty of arrows for this build. Okay. See, just rolling. So when you roll, you electrify and burst bowstring them. And we get a second feather here. And this is our second feather. Guess we could have gotten away with not using that. And we're full on burst bowstring. See? Now we could just use them in series, one after another after another, the feather. And we're going to get another enchantment point here at floor 13. And this is the boss floor, so we have to be careful here. You're going to run in circles here. I forget which boss it is. Yes. 
You want to keep moving? Don't let him hit you with the fire. Alright, just like that. The Enderman is going to be easy. Just go in circles. And use your potion. That easy. Yeah, you just have to keep moving around that gas. Don't sit in front of it and try to whack them. You're going to die. All right, floor 14. You're going to get an enchant point. And this is a merchant floor. So we're going to gild our armor. Gain speed after dodge, whatever that means. I don't know what a dodge is. But that's what happens. This level is going to be super easy. And we don't need any more artifacts. Okay, and what we're going to get here... We have enchantment points. We're going to get one cooldown. And two ricochets. Because we want to cool down that, uh, the gong of weakness. Oh, I've been holding this d TNT. <laughs> Not using any arrows. All right. That was floor 16. We're going to get the enchant point. We don't need any weapon. Unless it has like weakening. So that's got void strike on there. Uh, I, at first I thought you could get that. You know. But it's just so slow. It's so slow. You don't need it. Don't need it. We have what we need. Okay, floor 18, or floor 17, this is the enchant point, you know, after, whoa, I was looking at it, but I didn't select it, alright, let's see what we're gonna, uh, do here, we're gonna do more ricochet, and then we're gonna do another cooldown, and then that's all we need for the cooldown, we don't need any more. That dude's like floating in nothing. That was awesome. <laughs> that dude was going into space. All right. Floor 19. We're going to get the pickaxe. Now, do I have to get the pickaxe? Yes. You do have to get the pickaxe. I guess you could get the mace, but the pickaxe is better. And we're getting the pickaxe because it has weakening and void strike on there. And that's what we're gonna get. We're gonna get one weakening. And then later we're gonna get void strike.
There it is. Alright, that was floor 19. Okay. And next we're going to put a point into Void Strike. We're going to keep alternating Void Strike and Weakening. You can use the pickaxe, you know, as a weapon. Holy... Okay, is there a dude somewhere? Yep, right there. Die! There it is, floor number 20. And we get the enchant point here. And we're at the merchant floor. Power Smith. We're gonna get some power. And I forget what we get the power for. We're gonna get the armor. Yes, Power Smith is the armor. Because we need this armor to be as high as possible. We need that HP. And I think there's another boss here. Yes. This boss is a little easier. We're gonna just roll. We're gonna start our rolling. What the? Okay, there's no bees. Hundred percent chance, hundred and one percent chance to summon a bee when I roll, and I'm not getting a bee when I roll. So something, there's some kind of glitch going on there. Okay, we're gonna get the enchant point. There's a bee. There's the bees. And that was that level. Very easy. I don't know what they were thinking there. All right. For level floor 24 or 23, we're going to get another enchant point. And this floor is, takes a lot longer than that last one. There's a lot of dudes here, so we're just going to... We're just going to stay on the high ground and run back and forth. Pretty easy. Alright, now we can come down here. Spider. And that was pretty easy there. Alright. And floor 25. We're going to keep our weapon that we got. And we're going to just do the enchant point. This go this grave bane is pretty good. But it's not as good as the pickaxe. Oh yeah. And speaking of pickaxe. I think I forgot to do this on the boss. <laughs> get max void strike and then we can get the weakening. Those are the two most important. Because those buff, you know, you're, you're buffing. You're buff, man. Buffing it.
pretty easy. You just roll back and forth, use your things. All right, here we're just gonna keep the enchantment point. We got everything we need. We got everything we need. Here, this area here, we're gonna kind of stay in this little corner here because we can escape down the stairs if need be. Yeah, you don't really need to. This field's so strong. You don't need to do that. You just run in circles here. And that's why. Super easy. Alright, floor 27, we're getting, or floor 26 is still an enchant point. And we can do, uh, we'll do the weakening all the way, all the way. This is a little bit of a difficult floor here. We'll stay over here where we won't, can't fall off. Yeah, we hit him with Void Strike or the Gong. like that it's like that there's that dude over there get some creepers Simple. I don't know how I died. I died with this build. <laughs> it's not very. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. All right, we're at floor twenty-eight. Now, part of me uh, tell, says to get the soul knife, but honestly, I don't really know if you need to. You could get another enchantment point. Oh yeah, it does twice the damage of the pickaxe. So yeah, you do the, get that. And we're gonna enchant Weakening and the Void Strike. And you could probably get one into Swirling. And we are gonna do the Bubble Bow. We're gonna get some mass damage here. Actually, you know what? I don't. There it is. It's multiple targets when charged. So that's it's that's really nice to have. Oh, so it already has ricochet on it. Oh, so I really didn't even need to do that. Interesting. So maybe I should do it separate. Maybe I should do Yeah, switch it up and do the unique for the hunter's armor, but that gives a crappy uh... We'll stay in this area here and we'll just peek out and go back in Like that And 
nice flat ground here. Wow, that was easy. Just bounce around. Just do the bounce around. And here we're going to do uh, the enchantment point. And we don't need the we don't want the cooldown. We're going to go with swirling. But we don't really need it much. Here we're going to try to get hit both of these guys with this knife. Or at least one of them. Like that. See that? We hit them both with the soul knife. That charged it with void strike. Then we used the gong of weakness. And then we jumped. And it did massive. Massive, massive damage. So let's just say 600% damage.